Okay, consider the K truss below. Calculate bar forces in members BC, FC, FI, and HI, uh, which I've highlighted here in yellow. Uh, take note of all the dimensions. I've already calculated the reactions at the supports, as you can see. It's symmetric. Uh, usually with a K truss, there's more than just four sections. Uh, usually longer than this, but uh, I'm trying to keep this quick and simple. Uh, and if you're in my structural analysis course, uh, I'd like to uh, move us along here. So a simple K truss. Okay, so I'm going to use the method of sections. So to use the method of sections, I could cut through here. Oops. Okay, now the problem, if I cut through there and analyze the left side, or the right side for that matter, is that there will be too many unknowns. I'm cutting through four unknown bars, so it seems to me as though there would be too many unknowns to to be able to to figure out if I make a cut that's straight down. So I have to try some other approach. So I propose cutting like this. You see section AA, cut through BC, cut through BF, cut through FH, cut through HI. So uh, an awkwardly shaped cut. Okay, now I'm going to cut through there and I'm going to draw the portion to the left of that cut. Uh, so that'll be the next drawing. So when I take this cut, I'll have an unknown bar force BF, an unknown bar force HF that will be pointed towards each other. I'll have another unknown bar force BC and another unknown bar force HI. Okay, so watch this. And voila. Okay, how is that? Uh, point F is between B and H, but uh, be careful. Uh, there's no bar in here. Remember, I cut through here. So here's what I'm dealing with. So uh, now try taking the sum of the moments about point H, and I think you'll be able to determine what uh, F sub B, C is. Okay, make sure you throw these dimensions on here. Between A and H, that's 30 feet. Between H and B, that's also 30 feet. Okay, so the sum of the moments about point H is 0, negative 60 times 30. I'm talking about this 60 with a moment arm of 30. Minus FBC times 30. Uh, those both tend to want to go clockwise the way that I've drawn it. FBC times moment arm 30. So I find F sub BC is 60 kips. So the force in bar BC is 60 kips in compression. So now that I know this, I can just find the sum of the forces in the X direction to find the force in member HI. And finding the sum of the forces in the X direction, setting it equal to zero, I find that F sub HI is 60. 60 kips tension, so now I have this one. Okay, how does that look? Okay, let me go back to my main figure. Okay, here's what I started with. Okay, so F sub BC was negative 60. So put negative 60 on here. Okay, and F sub HI positive 60. How was that? What about the other two bar forces? How do I find those? Uh, now I can actually take a cut straight down. I can cut straight down because there aren't going to be uh, four unknowns anymore. Uh, I'm going to go right through the numbers I just drew. Okay, so cut straight down or straight up. Okay, so I'll call this cut BB. So now I'll take cut BB and uh, there'll be only two unknowns. So my next illustration will be uh, section BB, to the left of section BB. And now when I cut section BB, I have this portion to the left of the cut. Okay, I found these two bar forces previously, so now I've got only two unknowns. And uh, be aware of these special triangles that I created. See the angle theta in there? That's this theta. Uh, so uh, it actually gave rise to this triangle, but that's similar to this simpler triangle. I might need those for trigonometric relationships. So, uh, uh, what am I missing here? Can I find the sum of the forces in the x direction? Well, I'd have two unknowns, wouldn't I? Well, what if I find the sum of the forces in the y direction? So why don't I do it that way? Find the sum of the forces in the x direction. That'll give me an equation with two unknowns. Find the sum of the forces in the y direction. That'll give me an equation with two unknowns.
the same two unknowns. So I'll have two equations and two unknowns, and I can solve for the two unknown bar forces. And now when I sum the forces in the x direction, I wind up with equation 1. Okay, double check all my arithmetic, all my algebra. Did I do that correctly? Notice that the 60s cancel, minus 60 plus 60. And then I can divide both sides by cosine of theta. And then the uh, sum of the forces in the y direction. Sorry, I just squeeze it in at the bottom of the paper. Sum of the forces in the y direction is 0. Double check all this. I remember that theta is a special angle, so I'm able to come up with the sine of theta exactly in terms of this irrational number, 1 over the square root of 5. Okay, pause the video if you have to. And then I come up with equation 2. See that? Equation 2. So two equations and two unknowns. I'm going to solve those simultaneously. So I solve equations 1 and 2 simultaneously. Uh, I can just simply add them together like I am here. So I find f sub fc, uh, 10 square root of 5, that's in compression, and f sub fi is 10 square root of 5 in tension. So I can write those on my original drawing. f sub fc, negative 10 square root of 5, right here. Uh, that's in caps. And then f sub fi is 10 square root of 5. Okay, so those are the only bar forces that he asked about. B, C, F, C, F, I, and H, I.